Hello, Paul O'Hallon here from Pathway Teaching. Hope you're all having a good day. Today I just want to talk to you a little bit about geopathic stress. I get a lot, asked a lot of questions. I'm trying to just put it out there in a very simple for, uh, format for you. First of all, we have to look at what geopathic stress is. Basically what it is, is when rivers run under the ground, the water that runs off the rivers give off a frequency. If the frequency is in harmony with our frequency, that means everything is perfect. The frequency actually is 7.83. So when that frequency becomes distorted, what it does, it distorts the frequency around our body, which in turn weakens our immune system, and which in turn leads to sickness. It's really slow burner. We're talking about maybe 15, 20, 25 years uh, for the full effects of it to be seen. Other energies that can uh, run with this energy in, with, with the geopathic stress are the kind of spirit lines running through the house. Sometimes they run under the geopathic line. You can have uh, fairy lines and you can have um, different kinds of energy that uh, <clears throat> feed off the, the, the negativity of the geopathic stress. Also, when, when we talk about geopathic stress, we talk about as I said to you already, the rivers, but also I believe sometimes that when we dig deep into the earth uh, with diggers and with all these kind of mechanical tools that they have now, that we crack the aura or the crystal body of the earth. And when we do that, it actually opens up a crack in which the energy, the frequency can become distorted, but it, it, it frees, it, it flows a lot easier up through the thing. Lots of times when I do the work, I find that when I walk in fields, you don't find the uh, ley lines as consistent as you do around houses. The older houses, going back maybe 100, 200 years, really don't have geopathic stress. It's, it's the more modern age house that has it. And that's because I believe of all the mechanical work and how we dig deep into the earth, we distort the energies. Um, the symptoms that we would, would commonly hear about from people would be lack of sleep, pains and aches, depression, infertility is a big one cancer, behavioural problems and emotional instability, just to name a few things that over the 30 years that I've been doing the work that I have come across and, and, and the energies would have helped to heal. Dr. Hartmann and Dr. Napier were two very prominent doctors in Germany in their time that worked with geopathic stress and scientifically linked geopathic stress to cancer and other illnesses. The physical indications could be um, cats love to sleep on ley lines, negative ley lines, mice, ants, wasps, slugs, um, all like that kind of energy, they feed off the negative energy. Cows and horses, long ago they used to put the cows and horses out in the fields and watch where they slept. They knew that they slept in, in positive energy, so that's where people would build their house. So that was their sort of plan and permission in their time. Um, lots of times as well on farms with cattle are locked up and slatted houses over the, the um, winter period when the land is bad. We find that uh, their condition deteriorates, cattle or cows having calves, things like that. There's a lot of losses in some sheds and that's basically due to the geopathic stress where there's energies crossing or energies in the shed where the cattle are being born into that negative energies. Um, other indicators would be, physical indicators would be gaps in hedges, non-productive fruit trees, children uh, are not, not sleeping and are not wanting to go to bed and lots of times nightmares. So these are just, it's just putting it out there to, just to let you know. So how do we heal this? We heal it through ceremony. Um, we work with the land, we work with the spirit of the land, we work with the the facility of divining, which will uh, indicate the lines to us, the strengths of the lines and how they're going through the houses and where they're going through the houses. And uh, we release the traumas, the traumas, the curses, the imprints and all the stuff. And our goal is to leave the, back, the land back in its original state so that everyone is happy and everyone is happy. Thank you for listening.